Hey, VC here. I want to tell you the story about the Rafa Prestige ride in Arkansas. It was maybe one of the greatest trips I've ever gone on, and as you can see now, it's freezing, and I don't want to be freezing, and I'm just thinking about times when I was warm, and this was a story I've yet to tell you. And I'd like to tell you about this amazing 130 mile crazy gravel race in Arkansas, home of Walmart. The nuts experience. Here's the story. The only way I got this amazing deal was that my guy at True uh, Communications, they're like a marketing company for um, a lot of cycling brands. He hit me up days before the event, just a week before my Yosemite cycling camp. He was like, hey man, we'd love for you to be on this team. You know, it's like we're, we're paying, we're flying you out. Like it's an all paid expense trip, you know what I mean? It's it's a really amazing opportunity, but you gotta jump on a plane like tomorrow. So part of this was that one, my wife's birthday was during the trip. And then the very next week, like I'd be getting back, I think on, on Sunday uh, night, and then my Yosemite cycling camp starts Wednesday. So it was just, it was one of those where logically speaking, no, no, I can't go. But then I was just really trying to think like, man, this is a really amazing opportunity. I don't know how many other opportunities I'm going to get like this. I know the wife said yes, that I could go, but it was like one of those, sure, do whatever you want. I don't care. <laughs> because I was going to be missing her birthday and you know, that's not good. So I hit up my contact and I was like, bro, I've, uh, I, I've, I've weighed the pros and cons. I may be sleeping in the doghouse, and this is definitely not, I shouldn't be doing this because what if I get hurt or something happens? Um, I got the cycling camp, like I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm gonna full send. Babe, happy birthday. Thanks. <laughs> happy birthday to you. So that was a trip. Why are we here, man? We're here to ride, what, 120 miles and 7,000 feet of the finest roads that the South has to offer. Where are we, <laughs> we on the globe? We are, uh, we're about 10 minutes north of the town of Bentonville, Arkansas, which is Northwest Arkansas. It's rural, man, we're out there. <laughs> we, we are out there. Uh, yeah, there's four of us, so you uh, and myself from California. We've got a, a fella uh, coming out from New York City, a writer, uh, and then a friend of mine coming out uh, joining us from Boulder. So we're all going to converge. Uh, Four-man team. I believe, uh, I believe there's 20 teams. Everybody rides in teams of four, and essentially you're only as fast as your slowest guy. So you got to finish together, start together, finish together. You've got an allied bike coming your way, and allied is also local. So okay. the bike is hand-built local. So yeah, I'm going to go grab bikes, go grab Tom. You need to get some sleep for sure. <laughs> All right, and then we will uh, go into town and, and ride around and explore. And we'll get some coffee get and the then party we'll started, man. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Let's do it. Sweet. No, I didn't have a gravel bike, um, and I didn't bring a bike at all, actually. Um, Allied Cycle Works was working with their like Rafa Prestige pop up thing because we go to this little uh, pop up. So it's a Rafa store, a Rafa store, but it's not permanent and I got dialed in on this like super sweet gravel bike with disc brakes first time ever riding disc brakes I mean I'll say like I friggin love my Canyon to the moon and back but boy was this bike comfy the trusty steed it's all dialed in bro I'm still pretty tired though from traveling so we're just gonna cruise around and check out the town and then uh, just kind of hang out man Tomorrow's the ride, tomorrow's the big ride. But right now, we're hanging out.
radiator here is just very good. We've turned around several times. It's good. We're venturing out. I bet this dude on this tractor is like, why are you at my house, bro? That was a, an hour, just a little over an hour ride. Kind of gave a little teaser of what's to come tomorrow. Oh, that, dude, that was killer. T tell me about this town in Walmart. <laughs> Your headquarters are here. This is where like the Walmart spaceship, big, big red brick spaceship. So Walmart kind of built this town? I mean, everything around here is sort of popping up because of it? Yeah. Like a yeah. mining town, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, yeah, that's a good way to describe it. Yeah. Wow. There's like a Walmart museum here somewhere in town. Yeah. Yeah. That's it yeah. as well. Yeah. That sounds that's riveting. Area. <laughs> so then what happens? So we have this awesome epic ride, and then we went to like the Rafa pre-party, where there was just like tons and tons of hipsters. Everyone's being super duper hipstery. Um, I feel very like insecure and out of place because uh, I don't really know. I mean, yeah, I'm like hanging with these these three other guys, but I don't really know them very well. I'm trying to get to know them, but I don't have like a homie with me you know what I mean and so I just feel kind of out of place Lance Armstrong was there it's the first time I've ever seen Lance Armstrong in person so Lance was there Lance Armstrong and with uh, George Hincapi dude and I gotta say that Lance was a handsome dude like Lance was looking <laughs> like no homo but dude he <laughs> looked really good for his age I mean if I age as well as him well, I don't know. Maybe he's only 30 and then he wouldn't look so good. <laughs> but I think he's like 50. Terrible in yeah. years. He's, um, but uh, I wanted to go up to him and say, to get a sound bite, I want him to be like, vegans are annoying or something. But that'd be a really funny sound bite. Yeah. thrown away the key and I'll be fine with this to be the end for you and me so day two this is the big day again like 130 something miles 11 sectors of gravel is gonna be epic they have at the start there's like these crazy TPs and that's like where you register is in a TP like of course <laughs> so so hipster dude <laughs> You guys look super cool over here on this awesome couch. Just keeping it casual, man. Where are you guys from? St. Louis. St. Louis. I'm here for the group ride. <laughs> like, why come out? Why come all the way? Um, it just sounds like a good way to uh, have a good time with our friends that we're riding with. So, and we live close. St. Louis, it means five hours. So. Oh really? Uh, so I, have, I have no clue where I am. St. In Louis the world. is yeah. in Missouri. It's like five hours northeast of here, and the Ozarks. I mean, we we ride in Missouri for part of the ride today, so for about five miles. And, uh, How close are we to where the show, the uh, Ozarks show? Is? Um, you know what I'm talking about? That's in Branson, I think. Uh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you're talking about the, the show where the dude launders money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that guy's name? That's a really good show. It's an amazing show, and I want to go right. there. I want to go to that strip club, and I want to like... Right. Then uh, they just had teams going and going and going, and it was our turn. Got called up, and we took off. Dude, and um, we were all like pretty eager to get going. Not that everyone wanted to race, but we were going to kind of see like... Maybe, you know, maybe. We hit the 
first gravel section and we get our first flat. And this was the theme of the day, bro. Flats, right? Everyone was getting tons of flats. So we get a flat right off the bat and that kind of took the wind out of our sails because we were sort of like pace lining and, and feeling really good. Like, oh dude, we're gonna, we're gonna race this thing. So the first gravel section is complete. There's really only 15 miles of gravel on this whole course. So there's not a ton of gravel, but dude, there was four teams got flats during five teams. Like almost every team got a flat. It's gonna be the name of the game. Don't get flats. Dude, this is such a sick route. T turtle, turtle, turtle. There's a little turtle right there. Bro, such an awesome ride. when they start this, it's a staggered start. So, uh, everyone goes off in like one minute increments. So, it's really fun because we're constantly catching groups and groups coming on to us and it's fun, dude. It's a fun format, it's a, it's a fun ride. By like the third flat, we sort of were just in it for the enjoyment, right? We're not really racing. We're not trying to go super hard. We're just going to enjoy what ended up being maybe one of my favorite trips or rides I've ever done. The scenery was unreal. And maybe it's just because like I don't, it's, it's another part of the world, right? Like where I am at, where I'm at, there's mountains and there's pine trees, but there it's totally different. The, the roads are just these undulating rolling hills. The trees are like much more thick. There's a lot of green. <laughs> we're, we're ripping down this dirt road. Freaking beautiful. Sheer cliff off to the left into like a river. Very steep. Very big drop. With barbed wire fence along. I have my GoPro out. I'm just like, oh dude, I'm getting the sick ass shots, bro. And then I drop it and it's bouncing. And it's like no big deal, dude. It's in a case, it's durable. And so I'm watching it tumble and tumble and tumble. And I'm like, okay, no big deal. Cool, cool. And then it bounces the weirdest, just left bounce off into the river. Dude, I just dropped my GoPro. It was in my hand, I dropped it. And I think it went off this cliff, dude. No, dude, I think my GoPro is gone. Dude, my GoPro is like, it like bounced off into this fucking stream, dude. Where's my bike at? What happened? Yeah. Oh, 
Like if you could even connect to the Wi-Fi, you could power it off and hear the beep, right? There's so much I could do if There's it would so connect. Much you could do, yeah. Help me with the... Yeah. If you want to quickly take one of the best rides you've ever done and make it not as great, throw your $500 GoPro with your $100 memory card and all the footage from yesterday and the day into a stream. I can't let this ruin this day. And I have footage on this little camera, and uh, I gotta shake this off, dude. It's gonna be hard to do, but we'll shake it off. After the halfway point of the ride, we went through this friggin' town, dude, that was just like it's such a magical town. I, it's so hard to explain how magical this town is. Um but it is. This town is so sick. It's such a cute little town, and I keep thinking, oh, I'm gonna bring, I'll bring the wife here. I'll bring the babe here. You know what I mean? Like, she would love it here, dude. Her and her mom would just spend all day shopping and going into every one of these stores. But I can't really take her all the way over here. <laughs> I keep thinking it's close, but it's really so far away. This town is so cool. Everything in Coke is Coca-Cola. It's a Coca-Cola fan. There's Coca-Cola everywhere in here, bro. Like different Coca-Cola bottles. That's what they sell in here. Coca-Cola. How are you feeling, dude? Good. Had a nice Coke. Cooled me down. You had... So, how was that Coke from, like, the Coca-Cola Museum in here. Probably have the best Coke I've ever had. Really? Yeah. I might just be saying that because of how thirsty I was and how much I wanted a cold Coke. stuff great stuff wonderful ride felt great the entire time like when uh, when you do 122 miles and you're feeling good and you end feeling good the the it's just so much more rewarding you know what i mean because we've all been there where you roll in at 120 miles and you're just like i hate cycling i'm gonna throw my bike in a trash can um gopro is obviously gone so and in my small camera uh ran out of juice my phone ran out of juice it's all right positive panda great ride it was a big day dude it was a big day it was a hot day it was an amazing amazing day now the end because i really hadn't eaten uh any solid food pretty much the whole day so i was super pumped on like the post ride meal they didn't have anything vegan they have tps tps dude tp tents right so hipster. They have beer in a canoe. Like, that's pretty hipster. Yet there was nothing vegan. Um, at all. Can I ask you a super annoying question? Sure. Is there anything in there that's vegan? 
Uh, yeah, I guess the potato salad is. The potato salad? Yeah, because I mean there's mayonnaise in it, but no, because mayonnaise has eggs in it. Yeah. That's true. No, so I guess not. Man. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, to man. Say that for you, brother. That's all right, Dean. So that was like a super bummer. I really had expected Rafa to have enough hipsters that at least one of them was vegan. But it's like, it was, I guess, in just that part of the world, like, people aren't eating plants, dude. It's not a, it's not a thing. So my post meal was wiggity whack because it was nothing. Um, so I was super duper hungry and looking forward to dinner. Okay, so day three, we went on a little tour of the town that was guided by the town. A riding, like we rode our bikes. This was probably something that was just, I, don't, I had not expected this, but they really went through the town's history, what Walmart's trying to do for their town. It felt very, I'll be straight up, like cultish. Like I was being brainwashed or something because after this like tour around their town, I'm just like, a Walmart fanboy <laughs> okay uh, and so maybe I I don't know maybe I drank the Kool-Aid too much but dude it was nuts man do they have unlimited amounts of money and you could do a lot of I mean like what would you do with unlimited amounts of money probably not put it into like clean up water supplies or build infrastructure uh, for cyclists or or build businesses like uh, just make the town better like it was so nuts dude how much money they're putting back into the town they have a, a museum a free museum and only for American artists we got to ride around that museum and check it out it's free you know how much money this museum cost and then it's free so we're going through all these different places and I actually at one point we were riding and there was all these like bros uh on mountain bikes okay and everything's felt staged like we were being taken through this very specific route to look at everything they wanted us to see again very cultish and so i like break off from our little tour and i'm and i go up to these guys i was like what are you what do you do or do you live here what do i do send it Hey, send we send it. Send we everything. send everything. You work for you work for Send It Incorporated. Let's send It Incorporated. Absolutely. Can you give me your thoughts on like this whole trail system and living here as a local? Um, Benville's come a long ways in the last little while, and it's super rad as far as what's happening around here. I feel like um, we've got these Austin people here that come out now. These guys' is first time out. Angie's second. Uh, mm -hmm. She rode the Color Enduro here last year. Mm -hmm. So it's bringing out a lot of people, and the Stoke is pretty We're pretty high. high on the trails around here. I mean, it's just Are a rad stuck? spot to be. There's probably so much more to the story that I'm not telling or not telling right because I don't remember it. I should have. I, the thing is, I need to say these stories right after they happen. But again, I jump on a plane, I come home on my wife's birthday, I, I believe. Or maybe it was like the day after. So I was just like full gas with her. But then literally I have two days to prepare for the Yosemite cycling camp. And so it was a, it was like a jam-packed thing. And then after camp, like I'm just I'm kind of blown out. And then I just moved on to other videos. And this is just something that kind of stuck in the archive that I'd like to, to un-archive. I should have put it out in 2018 because it doesn't, it's weird to put it out in 2019 when it, anyway. Oh my goodness. Thanks for watching. Uh, Allied Cycle Works, bro, your gravel bike is phenomenal. Should send me one. <laughs> I'll definitely ride it. Uh, and yeah, man. And to the to the three dudes that I got to spend a weekend with that I'll probably never see again, I really enjoyed our time together. And you're all awesome. Thanks for watching, as always. Vegan Cyclist. Yeah!